Hey guys, what's up? Today I will be quickly reviewing 2020 MacBook Air with M1 chip versus 2022 MacBook Air with M2 chip. In my personal opinion, Apple did pretty good job by completely redesigning the body of the 2022 version as well as adding some new features to the actual uh, screen. Uh, as you can see, the uh, 2022 version is about quarter inch on both directions wider than 2020 version. As well as the resolution has changed, uh, the 2020 version was using uh, 25 by 60 by 1600 uh, with a 400 nits, where 2022 version is used as uh, 2560 by 1660 with 500 nits. Uh, they also did upgrade the webcam. Uh, the 2020 version had a 720p versus the 2022 version has a, a 1080p uh, webcam. What I was reading yesterday about the M1 and M2 chips, the regular user most likely will not gonna find out any difference because uh, both of them they run uh, fairly fast and smooth. However, if you are using Adobe Photoshop uh, video editing or like streaming uh, 4K or 8K videos, the M chip will obviously outperform M1. Uh, Apple claims that about uh, 20 to 30 uh, percent more efficient. Both laptops have pretty similar batteries which can hold up to 18 hours. For 2020 version, Apple offers two options for memory RAM. It's either eight gig or 16. For 2022 version, uh, they actually added additional 24 gig as an option. There is four options to choose from in terms of uh, storage. It's either 256, 512, one terabyte or two terabyte. The 2020 version had only uh, three colors available, 2022 version has uh, four colors available. Weight, there is not really significant differences. Uh, the 2022 version, it's probably like 30 grams lighter uh, than a 2020 version. Well, now I would like to take both laptops apart to see what's cooking inside. Please like, subscribe, enjoy, let's go! Alright guys, so as usual we're going to be starting from the bottom side of both laptops and uh, we'll remove a few screws here and uh, we'll get and see what's going on inside. Uh, I will be starting from 2022 version. It only had a, a few screws, that's probably the easiest part on disassembly for this laptop. Uh, the 2020 version had a few more screws and you actually need to use like a suction cup in order to pull uh, the bottom case from one side and slide it out because it's uh, it has a uh, internal clips uh, be careful don't force it because you can uh, damage those clips and then the actual bottom case will not close properly so let me tell you this uh, we probably took like thousands and thousands of laptops before but I never seen such complicated uh, assembly for on 2022 version uh, MacBook Air. Because first of all, as you can see, every connection has a, a closing lid, which uh, uh, being 
uh, screw down with uh, at least like two screws and uh, if you can see now here there is a four screws which are uh, covering the connection for MagSafe and uh, uh, two type C uh, uh, ports and uh, overall it was super complicated because uh, I mean another thing I want to mention be prepared to have at uh, to have a complete uh, uh, set of uh, uh, beats in a uh, different caliber because I mean uh, it, it comes anywhere from T1 all the way to T5 there is a uh, the same connect uh, the same connector might have like uh, two different uh, two dis uh, different screws so it's it just ridiculous uh, a lot of things I, I decided to do in fast forward mode otherwise the video would be like uh, you know over an hour and I know it's gonna get pretty boring as you can see here uh, I'm now I'm uh, removing the uh, pr protection plate for uh, video cable uh, there were literally three different bits with ha which we had to use in order to remove those plates it's just ridiculous uh, anyhow, there is uh, one more screw which is hiding under this uh, uh, black tubing here. It's right in the middle, and uh, again, you will see a lot of uh, a lot of uh, switching. Uh, I actually had like a five or six different uh, uh, sets, so I don't you know uh, remove a beat uh, every time that I'm uh, you know switching it now uh, as you can see also there is uh, two uh, Wi-Fi cables and again there is a there is a just tons of tons of connections on the motherboard and uh, uh, the best part about it is that uh, none of the external connectors are actually uh, attached directly to the to the logic board so in other words like uh, the audio port uh, which is I'm about to remove uh, as well as the uh, MagSafe uh, charging port and uh, both uh, type C ports they all separate and another thing I wanted to uh, what I've noticed actually for and I will you will see it later for on the 2022 version the uh, type c ports both of them are separate so if in case you broke one you just can simply pull uh, pull it out and uh, uh, replace it however for the 2022 ver uh, for 2020 version i'm sorry uh, the uh, two usb ports uh, type c ports they are located on the same board so if in case one fail the whole board has to be replaced uh, so now I'm actually removing the uh, uh, MagSafe. They break rarely, but it still happens. So in case if you need to replace it, uh, uh, please look at this uh, video where you can see which screws have to be removed in order to uh, uh, pull it safely. So here it is and uh, you on the ribbon you will be able to see the actual part number so if in case you need to re uh, order the new part uh, use that as a reference and uh, get exact match because the thing is on the on the macbooks even if it's the same model but uh, year is different the uh, the part most likely will be different as well because pretty much for every production year uh, they will be modifying parts they will be modifying connections so the any uh, any parts from previous year will not fit and I guess we all know why just I'm guessing for an extra profit so now I'm actually gonna be uh, I'm done with uh, removing all the ports and disconnecting all uh, ribbons out of the logic board so uh, there is another 25 billion screws which I need to pull and uh, we would be able to see uh, the actual logic board but I was honestly I was kind of disappointed because uh, uh, from both sides the logic board was actually uh, covered with this uh, uh, black uh, uh, protection tape which I decided not to remove uh, otherwise I, I thought I might 
uh, damage some even some smaller components uh, so again as you can see here the uh, logic board does not have a cooling system anymore so it's just it's a fanless design so it does not have a fan so it only has a, a, a the heat sink which apparently is enough to uh, release the, the heat out of the logic logic board and now I'm gonna be actually unsnapping the uh, last connector here in the middle again be very very gentle uh, and here it is so that's the that's the logic board and along with a with a heatsink uh, if you can see here uh, the golden uh, imprint there it's actually uh, indicated uh, the actual part number for that logic board so if in case you need to replace the logic board you need to look at this uh, numbers uh, A20-02536-A uh, in this case that's the board uh, so this board came uh, with a 8 gig of uh, RAM and 256 of storage so the RAM and storage are not upgradable and in other words uh, if you are ordering it directly from the manufacturer you actually have the opportunity to uh, order the size of the RAM and storage that you wish to have on your device but if you're buying it secondhand which I highly recommend because there is a lot of uh, especially like on eBay there is a lot of uh, used laptops in super good condition um, some of them are still under factory warranty and there were cases actually where uh, we saw some laptops they still have like uh, Apple care so and probably you will be spending at least like 30 to 40 percent less by buying it used and if you're gonna get lucky you still might get some warranty uh, directly from manufacturer which is a really good idea. here uh, the uh, I'm actually removing the daughter board which actually was used for uh, to connect the uh, the audio port and uh, speakers uh, directly to the logic board also another thing I want to mention while I'm uh, disconnecting the uh, uh, LCD uh, hinges the the power button on uh, MacBook Air uh, the 2022 and 2020 version uh, both of them they actually link to the logic board so if you are replacing let's say for any reason your logic board failed and you're replacing it make sure that you're purchasing new logic board which uh, comes with actual uh, power button or uh, and touch, touch ID because your existing touch ID will not work with a new logic board so you will basically it still will work as a power button but you will lose the feature of actual touch ID so be very careful on that now I was able to remove the uh, LCD screen and here is the palm rest uh, the battery is removable as well but it's very very dangerous to uh, uh, to replace it because they actually really gluing the shit out of it and uh, uh, if you're gonna poke the, the battery uh, it's highly likely that it, you can catch it on fire or it starts smoking and it gets very hazardous situation so if you have an opportunity to replace the whole palm rest with a keyboard uh, uh, along with a battery that would be probably the best bet uh, the touchpad is replaceable so let's say if the only touchpad fails you can remove just the touchpad so now I'm switching over to the 2020 version and it's actually uh, internally to be honest with you it looked more like a previous versions so a lot of uh, a lot of parts exposed there is still a lot of like those uh, snap-on uh, connections involved uh, there are uh, less screws uh, in the assembly uh, first thing first obviously I'm disconnecting the battery the touchpad and there's uh, uh, there is only on one side there were two uh, type C connection external connections so like I've mentioned a little bit earlier in my uh, video here that uh, for both uh, type C there is only one board so if it, any of them fails you would have to replace the complete board 
this uh, side here on the left side uh, there was an audio port and here I'm uh, removing the Wi-Fi antennas that's the honestly the there is kind of big Wi-Fi antenna here so now I'm gonna be removing and it was kind of actually complicated to pull that uh, uh, to pull uh, that antenna but I'm gonna be actually uh, removing it once uh, I will be uh, pulling the actual logic board uh, now there is uh, three connections here for uh, LCD screen so if in case you need to replace the LCD screen that's the the connections those plates you need to uh, disassemble and disconnect the, uh, the the cables out in order to pull the the assembly so here it is it's kind of kind of huge and it has a uh, two ribbons uh, attached so there's a uh, few more screws uh, which I'm gonna be uh, pulling now in order to remove the uh, the logic board again the same story uh, the logic board is uh, fanless and it only has the heat sink uh, and also they do not offer uh, any options for upgrade uh, to the memory or uh, storage so again you would have to either order it uh, through the manufacturer or if you're buying it second hand you right away you need to look for the proper uh, sizing so here are both logic boards uh, i mean in terms of this uh, the size they look pretty uh, similar uh, the only thing what i've noticed obviously the the, the 2022 version it's a lot thinner so uh, pretty much all the parts got a lot smaller um, I didn't get honestly I've, I took some M1 chips apart before I didn't really notice anything excited so I, de I decided not to show the actual uh, M1 or M2 chip especially they are usually hiding them under the, the, the protective uh, foil so now I will be actually pulling the uh, both uh, type C ports here they are so again i want to uh, mention it uh, another time uh, that every single part would have uh, its own part number so it's always the best don't ever go based on the actual laptop mo uh, model always try if something fails try to get to this part and try actually uh, look and check for the part number which th the part has and match it 100%. This way you can guarantee that if you order a new one that it will be 100% compatible because uh, I've seen cases where uh, the, the part looks identical but the actual connection is different. So in other words, if the connection is different, you cannot plug it in and it's just useless. So now it took me quite a bit of time uh, to remove that antenna because there was a lot of glue underneath and uh, after probably a few minutes I was able to remove it carefully here it is and uh, now uh, the only thing what we have left to go is to actually disassemble the uh, uh, remove uh, three screws on each side for uh, LCD hinges and to be honest with you, uh, and I many times I've noticed, uh, I've mentioned that on my previous videos, uh, the, the MacBook, I mean, they do amazing job for hinges. So I never actually seen even a single case where uh, the hinges would break because they so reinforced, as you can see, they have uh, three screws on each side and on top of it, they had ad additional plating, which I actually removed earlier in this video. So now it's... Uh, a little bit of uh, work here and uh, the screen is finally removed so here it is uh, the LCD screen so if in case you need to replace it the screen or the logic board that's what you need to do anyhow thank you very much for watching please subscribe so we can be more motivated to shoot uh, more new videos uh, again take care and see you next time